Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS TOF Gaming Laptop. This one is an ASUS TOF Gaming F15 series. They do come with an RTX 3050, 3060, depending on the, the model that you get. iCore 5, iCore 7. The exact model for this one, it's FX506H. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM for this model. Uh, if you go to the task manager, and it will show you that it has one out of four slot them available. But actually, that's far from truth. This laptop only have two RAM DIMMs available. So the task manager, for some reason, detects a motherboard has a four slot, but it doesn't. And I have made a short video. You can see the maximum RAM capacity that you can have on this laptop. We have upgraded this one up to 64 gig, but uh, the RAMs are really expensive. I would say go with 216 gigs if you want to go video editing. So that's 32 gig. That's pretty good. But in this case, we're going to upgrade it to 16 gigabyte because the client wants 16 gig. It comes with an 8 gig, so we're going to add additional one. I'm going to go over the tools that we're going to be using. And for the opening tools and the screwdriver set, I'll be using iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number one, I believe. No, let's, we're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And uh, for the opening tool, is, yeah, if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and a few other stuff. And tweezers, if not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this one hand, we're going to get it started. There are three sets of screws on the bottom cover. They are uh, noticeable. There is no head in the screws or anything like that. And you, sh you should have three types of screws. The long one, the medium, and the short one. And there's a one screw that will not come out. That will be one of the side screws in here. So the way you're going to know, you're going to open it up. And the screw is going to make a noise. This one, actually. Let me see. Yeah, this, this one right on the right side. So when you're looking on the bottom, let me put this one back on. The one on the left side, if you, the front of the laptop is facing you, the left one is the short one. It comes out the one on the right. We're gonna leave this one for the last. So remove the front. This one right here. The long ones are two in the back. Go ahead and remove the two long ones at the back mid, and keep them in separate pile. And the rest of the screws, even the mid ones, and the one in the middle, you can actually pull it out. These ones are the medium sized screws. Go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a separate piles. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out and you can support, if you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. So I'm going to go over the screws again. Two long screws, the one in the back mid. The mediums are the corners, sides, and the one in the middle and the front uh, mid. These are the medium size and the really short ones is the left one and the right one shouldn't come up because I let a seal lock on it. And the reason for the seal lock is once you start opening it up, it should pull the cover to itself. So it should have a little tiny gap opening in there. That's the reason for seal lock. See if I ro rotate, it just opens a little bit of space in here. So you can stick an opening tool right in there. So I can easily stick an opening tool a little budget right in there and I can just twist it you see you want to just twist it and it will open so what you want to do you want to work yourself around and do this twisting all around every few centimeters just put it in there just twist it. you want to hear a big clicks those are the clips that are getting loose they're not breaking anything you want to work yourself all around in the front okay you see that opening right there and you want to do the sides and go towards the back Okay, so pretty much is almost open here. So we can go work in the back end by the hot air exhaust right there.
There we go. So once you did a little bit of the back side, I'm sticking the topic about one or two millimeters, not too much. So here's right on the bottom. I have the camera right in front of me. There we have it. So once we did a little bit of every side a little bit, then we can put it down and lift it up and wiggle it around and it will sh release itself. And right away we can see the battery, the two big fan, the nice heat pipes, and the rams are covered right in here. They put this isolating thing, so when you look at the bottom grill, you don't see the RAM, so it doesn't look ugly. You can actually rip it off. It has a little adhesive. You can put it back on if you want. Just put it on one side, and there you can see DIM 1, which has an 8 gig, and there's a DIM 2. To upgrade the RAM, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely safe to touch the RAM uh, as long as your laptop is off, obviously. You don't need to remove the RAM, the battery. If you want to remove the battery, just put your fingers at the side of the jack and pull the jack back. That's how you remove the battery, but you don't need to. Let's see, I have an 8 gig RAM right here. These are DDR4 RAM. And I'm going to put an 8 gig, 3200 uh, hertz. So the way you want to install the RAM, let's say you want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle. You just like landing a plane. Bring it in 45 all the way towards the dim. Just I'm pushing it in 45 degree. I'm not pushing it towards the motherboard. Pinch it right in there. It goes all the way in, and then you have it in this position. All you need to do is simply just push it towards the motherboard, and you're gonna see these triggers open and close, and it makes a nice click sound. And that's how you know the RAM is in place. To remove the RAM, just pull these two triggers away from each other, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to pull it back, not upward. Pull it back in 45 degree angle. There we go. So it goes 45 degree in, pinch it in there, and push it towards the motherboard. The other one in here, this one has a little pull it away, and it comes up, help it out a little bit, and then pull it back out. Has a little aluminum sheet or uh, heat sink on it, but you don't actually need it. They just put it on. So make sure the notch matches. Bring it in 45. And push it in there. And the last thing is to put this cover if you want to. You're not obligated to put this one on, but if you want to put it on, put it on. And if you have disconnected the battery, plug, push the battery jack in. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, align it straight over. You want to push the back, this side, make sure you hit those tiny clicks. You want to hear those clicks. First, you want to tighten up this screw with a C-lock on it. All right. And then put the two screw mid in the back. Do the other one. And once you put the screw, it makes a click because it's pushing the cover to itself. If you see any opening, just pinch them together and it will make a nice click right there. And the last thing down here would be to just grab and put the bottom screws on the cover. If you guys like this video, you know what to do, click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I'm going to power it on and let's see if it powers on. So I see a little red light. Once you power on initially, it might take up to 5 to 10 seconds, sometimes fast. Just be patient and it should boot in and work just fine. I'm already in the desktop. It should get. There we have it. Okay. And if I go inside, yeah, the password for this one was. So if I go to the task manager, and here we can see on the RAM, we got the 16 gig RAM installed right there. It's not focusing, but it's right there. And in here it says two out of four, but there's no four RAM DIM slot available. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.